Hey guys, it is Monday, January the 10th, 2011, and this is FagX News. Um, if you did not notice that the new God Wars, uh, the Ancient Prison, is now out with Nex. Now, I'm going to do something a little bit different here, just trying this kind of a layout thing. I'm going to read over the main update and do and review the in other news and then review the main update, which is Nex, just because um, I find that a little bit easier. But basically what happened is Nex has now uh, been released and the Frozen Door is now open. Um, it talked about a Frozen Key uh, you had to obtain by getting by killing um, followers of the four other um, God Wars dungeon bosses um, which I will get into um, once I start reviewing um, you also just so I don't have to say this again you need uh, for the four key parts you need 70 agility constitution strength and ranged uh, to be and you have to uh, and it will be destroyed after five charges unless you uh, repair it in a repair stand in your house for 50k um, yeah basically it's the big bad zero squad uh, boss thing, but I'll talk about that later. Um, in other news, uh, with all the action in the dungeon, you will find that the other faction leaders have cleared their throats. They now feature full voice acting and improved sound effects, and basically their sound effects are a lot better, and they have voice like the ones in the uh, Damahem dungeons in Dungeoneering, which is good. Uh, the Damahem ones were uh, really, really good, so hopefully that these ones are um, just as good as those ones, and hopefully uh, Jagex keeps going with these because it's a great um, thing. Um, and people who have completed Love Story will could travel to Keldegrim, uh, the east part of it, to talk to a dwarf called uh, Rimvester uh, in the building northeast of the Laughing Miner Inn. Uh, if you deliver uh, something from him to the wise old man back in Draenor, you earn the ability to ship teleport to House Teletabs to take you to Trollheim instead, and basically you can um, teleport to House or teleport to Troll. Um, Overlord Potion's wearing off message is now dark red to make it stand out. It may help while fighting next or any other fucking boss, for God's sakes. Um, that's a good thing. Uh, I know people that have complained about not seeing the Overlord po Overload Potion um, wearing off message and didn't even know and then either got killed or, you know, they didn't hit as high and they weren't exactly sure why. But that's good that they uh, decided to do that as well. Um... Yeah, uh, Jad has his magical attack animation priority raised above his defense animation, uh, making it more clear when he's about to use a mage attack, um, which is good because, I mean, you want to know when the hell Jad's going to use a fucking mage attack, or any attack, uh, for that matter, so that's good that they updated that. Um, that's, yeah, good. Uh, I plan on doing Jad sometime soon, so, you know, now that I have that there, then perfect. Uh, it is now possible to kick and add a temporary ban to players who aren't currently in Clan Chat channel. Uh, it is also now possible to top up a temporary ban by re-kicking a banned player. Okay, I don't really get that very much, but uh, from the gist of it, it looks like that you can te now temporarily ban people from your uh, Clan Chat instead of just kicking them for a temporary amount of time, so you have so you know when they're coming back, so you can be ready to kick them again if you need to. Um, for the next update onwards, the broadcast system update will warnings will appear more clearly both in game and in the lobby. It now appears in dark red in the chat window in all tabs, and in bright red in both the friends and clan chat section to the lobby. Um, again, good, so you can see it more. You can you know when it's coming, so you you can quickly finish up if you're doing like Slayer task or a boss or something like that. You can quickly finish up and leave uh, before the um, update timer starts. Which is a good thing, because, I mean, you don't want to be stuck in fucking Mando's when that timer hits, like, two minutes, because you're just sitting there like, Oh my god, oh my god, I gotta leave. Because, I mean, you, you you lag out in there, and you're pretty much fucked. But anyway, guys, main now to the main update. Uh, I'm going to say, I'm going to talk about the armor first. I'm going to try and do this as quick as possible, just because the rendering time on these are long as hell. Um, if you manage to beat Nex, um, you might be lucky t enough to uh, get one of the new um, 80 life point boosting... Um, things. Uh, armor, uh, which is Torva, which is melee, Pernix, which is range, Virtus, which is magic armor, and cosmetic ancient ceremonial robes, which is the, and uh, the, of course that new bow that they mentioned, uh, Zerite, I think it's called. Um, interesting, Zerite, Runite, eh, whatever. Um, yeah, they, uh, yeah, it, I said it's spelled with a Y to try and trick us, but, you know, whatever. Uh, Zera bow is, of course, the bow that apparently has, um, no, uh, ammo needed, but I imagine it has some repair option or something like that. And if not, then, cool, that's never gonna go down from, like, the 200 mil of the set. Oh, yes, they are at 200 mil, um, and I imagine there'll be even more than that street price, so, you know. Now on to next, the main update. Basically, next is the uh, Zeros God in the God Wars dungeon, which seems kind of odd, but uh, because Zeros was uh, imprisoned uh, before the God Wars, but Nex and his followers survived and were cast away by Armadale Bandos, uh, Ceredolmen, and Zemrak. 
and uh, sealed away in the God Wars dungeon. Now, Nex is extremely powerful. His combat level is 1,001. He has 30,000 life points. There's no Slayer uh, level assigned yet. He uh, is extremely aggressive, and he's, he is also poison and he's poisonous, and he's immune to poison, so basically don't bring your DDS. Um, his attack style is magic melee range, so all three. Um, his attack speed is quite high. His max hit apparently is 369 with melee and 800 plus with uh, magic. Um, that sucks. Uh, his weakness is ranged, so if you're going to go and you have high range, recommended. Um, always drops uh, big bones and apparently drops five debotes at a time, I've been told, but don't quote me on that. Um, basically, he is the big bad bastard of the God Wars dungeon. Um, there isn't much you can say uh, besides that. Like I said, you needed to retrieve a key part um, from each of the followers of Armino, Bando, Samarak, and Saradoman, and you need 70 agility, con constitution, strength, and range uh, to fight Nex. Yeah. Uh, together, the parts of the first and key, um, I already said about the 50,000 coins thing. Uh, somebody said something about needing 115 uh, dungeoneering to fight Nex. Now, Honestly, I highly doubt that's true, just because of the fact that that's nobody really has it right now. Um, yeah, oh, I have the prices here for the um, stuff, and they are hovering um, around ancient Plato. Sorry, I'm just... <laughs> um, no, but I'm. Uh, they're hovering around between 100 and 200 mil, except for the zero bow, which is 61 mil, but that will go up quickly. Um... They look pretty badass, actually. The pictures look really, really good. They look really cool. Um, it, th it should be interesting once people start actually getting these to see where the prices actually go. Now, the ancient ceremonial mask, legs, top, and boots uh, are all apparently very are, are all apparently common uh, drops, but um, they they will go up a lot. I can guarantee you within the next like 24 hours, even um, just because I mean there's literally none in the game. Um, yeah, oh, okay. Uh, Dragon Boots drop 5 to 23 at a time. Like, holy shit. That's a lot. That's a lot, a lot. Oh, whatever. But yeah, that's yeah, that's pretty good. Um, her It drops uh, drops some herbs and uh, magic seeds, but its um, rarity is un... It's not very common, and quantity is unknown. Um, it also drops multiple other drops, like Rune Ore, um, Ancient Effigy, obviously, Raw Shark... Uh, green Dehyde, Shadow and Bruise, 2000 Key, obviously, pretty much everything drops that. Um, but yeah. But, that's pretty much it. Um, ah, I was right. Um, yeah, I was right. Uh, in my clan, if you don't know, um, people were uh, debating, and stupid people even out of clan were debating what next even meant, and it's Latin for murder or death, and Torva is Latin for savage or fierce, and I imagine... The other ones are Latin for something. But, anyway guys, that is the update uh, today. Uh, that's all I have to say. Uh, thank you guys for watching, and thank you for subscribing, and I'll see you guys later.